Dan Bongino, author of Don't Burn This Book. Dave Rubin is with us. Um, you know, it may seem anecdotal, and I guess it is, Dave. Um, I go to the grocery store every week. I see the same cashiers. I see the same guys stocking the shelves. I actually put one 19-year-old kid on my radio show Monday. He was there every time I went to the store. He had his mask on. I think we can learn. If they didn't get sick and they wore their mask, wearing masks are a good thing, even though it's a pain in the, you know what? We can do it. It's a, it's a short-term time. It's a short period of time. Uh, and we learn from Florida, Texas, and Georgia. And we learn what not to do from New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Michigan. Yeah, well, Sean, I mean, sometimes anecdotal actually is the best way of figuring out what's going on here. I can tell you this. You know, I'm, I'm in Los Angeles. And when I walk around the street, and by the way, I don't wear a mask when I walk around the street. I walk my dog like a real rebel out there. People are starting to come up to me, and they'll go, Dave, saw you on Hannity last night, saw you on Tucker last night, saw you on Perino yesterday. And what they're hinting to me is they're finally going, yeah. Well said. Uh, I, can't I can't say it any better. You know what, Dan? I hate the politics are now involved. We spent $3 trillion dollars. Four trillion more in loans. Now they want three trillion to bail out these blue states that, you know, it's all waste, fraud, abuse. And now they want to get bailed out, but stay closed until there's a cure. Pay for it yourself. Yeah, uh, America, listen and, and please listen good. I know the people who watch Fox have a lot of common sense, unlike the other network. There's no money. There is no damn money. There's no money. Our entire economy, understand this, everybody horse blinders, look at me right now. I can see myself in the return, okay? Our entire economy produces about 22 trillion, 24 trillion in wealth in any given year. We owe all of that and about 70 trillion more in entitlements and just took out another 3 trillion we don't have. You understand this isn't real money, right? This is fake monopoly money. If you believe that money is an actual exchange of value, you work, you produce value, you get money, this is not money. This is fake money. And remember what Friedman always warned. Bad money always chases out good money. And, Sean, one last thing in these lockdowns. Dave's right and you're right, too. Listen, I'm not going to attribute anybody bad motives. I, I'm not, I, don't, I can't get in their heads. But if this isn't based on politics, what is it based on? Is it based on science? Because I thought you said it was about the data. Yet Georgia opened up and has seen 12% fewer cases. So let me get this straight. We're bankrupting people, destroying the food supply, preventing people from going to the doctor to get cancer treatments, all in the name of public health, when you have almost no evidence to back it up. Have you ever heard of externalities well, or side effects? Because uh, apparently the Democrats haven't. I was, I was skeptical of Kemp's plan. Well, then, I saw, then I saw the plexiglass. Then I saw the hands, you know, and the distance and the gloves and the mask. I said, you know what? The salons can work. Dan, Dave Rubin, thank you. All right. Well, now. I'll